So I'm here with Beth Keeney, Ms. Keeney from Jefferson High School. And uh, Ms. Keeney has been nominated as have nine other teachers, 10 in total, from Bloomington Public Schools for Ed Minnesota's Teacher of the Year this year, which is an awesome honor and, and a big number. So congratulations. Thank you. I fortunately was um, nominated by a former student, Summer Ann Walker, who's a current senior. And that means a lot. It, it, it's validating to know that yep. I must be doing something right in the classroom. I really, really enjoy it. It's a chance for me to take the science that I really love and coordinate it with being with people and especially young kids, uh, which is kind of my forte. Really nice. And here I am. And, and here you are. We're glad to have you at well, Jefferson. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. It's, uh, it's my 20, I believe, 22nd year here. And I don't even really think about it as work. I think about it as a part of who I am. Mm -hmm. Not only uh, the instrument that I am as a guide to, to, to students in the classroom, but also the collegial atmosphere here at Jefferson. It's amazing. I love the staff. Um, the admin is wonderful. It just feels like a family and just an extension of my personal life I bring into a professional setting. Hello and welcome back to another edition of Melby Monthly. It's February, I love to read month, and many of our schools plan readathons or other challenges to encourage students to read. I personally love to read and love seeing our students enjoying it as well. We have amazing staff in the Bloomington Public Schools and it's nice to be recognized for your amazingness. So I'd like to highlight that this year we have 10 Bloomington teachers who have been nominated for the Education Minnesota Teacher of the Year Award. Very impressive. Please join me in congratulating our nominees. We wish them all the best as the selection process moves forward. I had a chance to visit Mr. Jeff Zupfer's music class at Normandale Hills Elementary School and explore my musical side, learn about percussion, and talk with Mr. Z about what he loves most about teaching music. And one of 10 Bloomington Public Schools nominees for Ed Minnesota's Teacher of the Year. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. Have you been nominated before and what does it mean to you? Um, no, I haven't been nominated before. The awards thing is great, but really what mattered to me was in that nomination, just that parent saying how the music had really made a difference in their kids' yep. lives during distance learning, to have that connection of the videos and the music and all of that. And I mean, that's the part I value most, just knowing, because you send stuff out, I push stuff out all the time, but it's kind of like messages in a bottle. You're not really sure who it's reaching or how yep. it's hitting. And so just yep. to get that, signal coming back is, is super meaningful. And I can just join in here somewhere? We're gonna be all right. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I love the fact that music is something, it's so immediate for kids. You can teach them this song right here, right now, and it goes with them here and here and yep. stays with them and like that's such a a gift to live in that world as totally, a music teacher. Totally. One of my favorite things about my job as superintendent is spending time in our schools and talking with students and staff. So many of our staff and teachers go above and beyond, going the extra mile to make a connection with a child, help all students have a positive school experience, or help their colleagues in big and small ways. That's the heart of what we do caring for kids, and caring for each other. Ooh, you see that? It worked. Speaking of going the extra mile and, and doing what you love every year, Mr. Z at Normandale Hills creates a video uh, around their readathon that takes place at Normandale Hills. If you check out the link on the screen here, you'll be able to watch that video. I highly recommend it. And once again, thanks for tuning in and watching. <laughs>